quickly want to show you everything that I got discounted at Sephora and at Ulta for Black Friday. There were like several orders, some I placed online, some were like pick up in store. There were like a bunch of orders. Like they kept switching what was on sale every day. Like Black Friday, then Saturday, then Sunday, then Cyber Monday. I am missing one order, but it was just like these lashes that I love from Eyelore. They put it on sale I think for Cyber Monday. They're usually 15, they had it like they're usually $15.99, I believe, and they were the, the pair of three for $9.99. So I ordered four pairs because it's what I have on. I rave about them all the time, and I, I just needed them. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the things that I got from Sephora first because I did get more from Ulta. I usually always shop like at Sephora, Sephora, Sephora because I, I purchased the, what do you call that? Shipping thing that they have that you get two day shipping. I have like no minimum. I get free shipping. So that's why I shop at Sephora more. First thing I got from Sephora is this beauty here. This is the Sephora favorites. The next big thing. I love getting Sephora favorites not all of them are amazing to me but when I see one that I like most of the items I definitely um, try to get it right now this is sold out so I'm really glad that I got it I was thinking about it and thinking about it but I'm sure they might bring it back in stock so packaging is so beautiful I am gonna review all of these separately no worries I'm gonna try everything on in other videos I do sell it for $39 but I picked it up for $20 five dollars i believe so 25 dollars for all these beautiful brands and i can't wait to show you what everything looks like and if it was worth it i just previously did my monthly favorites where i showed you who to palette this one here that i put in my favorites and i told you that they had them on sale but not those those are the nude obsessions palette because they're new releases but these pick this one up which i told you in that video this is the ruby obsessions i can't wait to do a look to swatch this for you i know it's not new but i know you guys love when i um do the swatches and just create a quick look what a beauty ruby obsessions i wanted the smoky one or the mauve one but the mauve one was sold out and the smoky one i don't remember the exact name of that one but it wasn't even on the list they also had the neon ones on sale so these usually retail for i forgot 26 27 or something and they had them for 16 dollars you have the emerald one of this one let me look at it because this is my first time looking at it Ooh, that is so pretty and actually on my eyes today again because i put it in my favorites that means i'm using it a lot i use this so if you're wondering what is this on my eyes that's what i use the new obsessions palette which i did a video showing you um a look swatches all of that but look how pretty these colors are definitely happy i got it for 16 dollars. i was first gonna get the um the neon one i believe it's the green one why i changed my mind and i just went for this one so we'll be reviewing this and i got this play by sephora box did buy another one previously i did film it and i hope you guys like it it was my first time I had to get another one this is for ten dollars and the first box i got was so good that i just had to get another one and this is not the subscription so i just love that they give you the option to purchase the box moving on to ulta you guys know that i reviewed the juvia's place foundation even though the color did not match it was so hard like everybody was trying to see what color what color can they possibly be well i reviewed that then i did another video like mixing that one with one of my favorite foundations also trying to see how it would look if you want to see my review on that then go ahead when i saw this this is from that same collection i always wanted to pick this up but i didn't it's from the same collection the um foundation is like the same color this beautiful coral so this is the juvia's place Nubian three coral I believe this was on sale i will try to put the price once i see because they send you the receipt with no prices because i don't know why let's look at this oh, it just looks so pretty this is my first time I'm having a Juvia's Place uh, eyeshadow palette. Everybody like um, raves about them so much, so I can't wait to see how I feel about it to review it for you guys. Swatches and all of that. <gasps> Ooh, 
yeah, I always, when I saw these colors, I knew that I wanted it in my collection. Look how pretty. It's like not super warm. It looks cool tone to me. So that's why you know I die for my cool tones. And this, oh my god, beautiful, beautiful. I love when it's a mix of like mattes and shimmers. Don't give me, I do have one that's all matte, which is like a, a small palette from Too Faced. But I love when, when it's like this. And by the way, no mirror, so just letting you know i got another eyeshadow palette now this is a mini and this one is by lorac is brand new i don't know if it's limited edition it probably is because it's a collab a collaboration with rachel zoe i had to look her up i'm probably like the only one in this world that didn't know who she was open this up they had several in this collection but this one just looked the most beautiful to me i think because this one is a combination of like mattes and shimmers the others are are like all shimmers i think teeny tiny look at this this was on sale too again i'll put the price here because i don't remember maybe it retails for like 25 and it was 15 something like that Ooh. let me tell you lorac is one of my favorite brands for eyeshadow very excited for this and oh look at this palette oh my god i can't wait i can't wait to play with this to swatch it to do a look two mattes here which is beautiful for transition shades and oh my god look at this it reminds me like of that shade that i play with in that uh jeffree star morphe palette uh, what was that called million millions and you guys loved it too so this looks very similar but it's a teeny tiny one and it comes with a mirror this is so cute this would be an amazing gift but for yourself me i don't have anybody in my life except you guys that love makeup seriously like nobody in my life wears makeup likes makeup the only person i had in my life was one of my cousins only one and she moved so seriously nobody i work with no none of my friends no family members so it's just you guys you share my passion with me really they have these cute colors for the bags it's usually orange i had to repurchase these babies here this is my it cosmetics bye bye pores pressed powder poreless airbrush finish this is a uh, translucent my favorite type of powder is pressed powder i'm obsessed with some loose ones too that i have bought like the hourglass but this is i don't know i just i just love it this is my it cosmetics i believe it was on sale for like 19 and it's usually 29 so i got two of them because i go through this so fast this is what it looks like. It's really an airbrush finish. If you're new to my channel, then you probably have no idea that I'm obsessed with this. But now you know, airbrush finish. Had to stock up on those. Also got this palette here, and this is a highlighter palette. Oh my god, let me tell you that this is why I had to do several orders because I was home at Friday, right? But then I'm off on Saturday and Sunday. This is when I film. This is when I can go online, search the web, do all the things I have to do to see what can I review next. Deals do they have? Checking this Ofra palette. It was not on sale, but I was like, okay, whatever. But it's it's pretty. I, I don't believe Sephora carries this brand. It's like should i get it but i decided not to get it whatever the next day i checked tell me how it was ten dollars off i was so happy that i didn't purchase it that day before so this is what the packaging looks like it's a whole row of highlighters i believe this retails for 32 dollars, and i got it for 22 dollars. so i was really happy about that i only have used one other ofra um, highlighter which I reviewed on my channel and that is I believe blissful the color is this one it's glow times five oh. this is the one I reviewed blissful I always have loved the design they have this palette that I've been dying for it's like face and eye palette yeah but it's like $60 but I've been having my eye on it for 
ever. This is the signature palette. That's what it's called. Now I have this other item. This is my first time getting something from this brand. I'm probably like the only person in this world. So we have something from Kylie. Kylie Cosmetics. And this is a... Oh my god, I can't see this properly. $12. I don't remember if it was on sale. Look how nice and small it is. Obviously, this is like a limited edition. It's two lipsticks. They both look like color that I would love that kind of red I would like and then we have that nude shade these are Mary Jo K matte liquid lipstick and charm velvet liquid lipstick and I did buy this palette here say it's like my number one for like ever and ever and ever maybe I'll find a better one but this is my baby it's a cool tone and they had it on sale i just decided to look i don't know how i remembered because it's usually never on sale when i check and is my lorac pro palette number two i've shown you guys this palette the old one that i have but it's so beat up it's so old the colors that i'm like obsessed with are like gone i was really gonna buy two of these but i was like no i mean you're you're overdue how much $39.99 and I believe I got it for oh my god $19.99 it's come with an eyeshadow primer they had all their palettes on sale the pro palettes I was thinking of getting the pro palette number one I didn't so this is what it looks like super sleek they're gorgeous you may be thinking like oh yeah that looks basic but they're super just look at that super cool toned i love to wear this like going to work because it's so quick i don't have to think about it and this one just looks so nice and crisp and clean and I'm really hoping that i would have gotten the other one but i take a really long time to go through palettes but when i had this one like it was like i think like one of my first with like the Too Faced, also the chocolate palette They're, like my only two pads that i had so i was going at it like a lot now like that i do youtube i review so much so i have many to go through but not all of them are like my favorite you know if you want me to like do a look I know this is not new, so I don't know if you're excited for it or not, but just, just look at it. If you love cool tones, definitely give this a try. They're so buttery. They blend like a dream. I also picked up this new Maybelline liquid liner, and this is called Hyper Easy, I believe the name is. It's waterproof. The tip is supposed to bend. Look at that. So I like Maybelline a lot when it comes to the drugstore. Um, one of my favorite liners is from Maybelline. I have today one that I got in my Ipsy bag, and also um, I do my tail with the elf one i can't wait to like try this out with you guys and see how it is if it smudges it says easy line smooth guide no skipping and i don't think this was on sale but i knew i had to get it because it's new and i love trying like liquid liners i love it i use them every day so the things i got is this they put it again the next day they were like oh yeah by the way now this is on sale and i'm like okay so that's why i had to do like up in store thankfully because they don't i don't have free shipping with them like without a minimum like sephora I was glad that the store around me had it i got the tarte shape tape concealers i believe they were on sale for like what was it 19 dollars. so i had to get two i believe this time i got them in another shade or did i have this shade before this one says fair and these say fair neutral so these are 12 and fair neutral i really want to see if they, if it looks like a lot different um, than this one that I have okay so this one looks a little bit more yellow I think this has maybe for what I saw on the site I'm trying to remember maybe like a pinkish a little pinkish but it's worked wonder with like neutral undertones or something because so conceals the under eye like this one and I also like to use it um to like cut the crease so i got the stila stars aligned glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow set i don't believe this one this set is available at sephora so i'm really happy that i got it i it was on sale for like 12.50 i think but i think this retails for like 
is it $25? Did have others that I see that they're just available at Ulta right now. I wanted to pick it up, but it was just like too much. I was trying to control myself. I will definitely be reviewing this, trying them on. As I've said in several videos, not all of them um, are made the same. The first one that was like, <gasps> that left everybody with like, oh my god, this is insane, was the Written in the Stars. I think that was like one of the first sets. I have reviewed several of the sets on my channel, all fired up. There's another one, which I can't remember. If you just put like Stila, Glitter and Glow, or just Stila, you can find these things on my channel. So here you have two colors, and it's two colors that I love. Like these two are like one of my two favorites, and it's Kitten Karma and Diamond Dust. Just had to get it because like I said, Sephora doesn't have it. Which ones do you want me to review first? You can just leave me the name, like Stila, Juvia's Place, Sephora Favorites, Huda, I don't know, whatever you like, Ofra. And I will try to prioritize if you let me know. If not, I will try to choose, um, I don't know, the, the things that I think you might want to see first. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click the little notification bell. That way you will be the first to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.